A high speed police chase leads to a three car crash near one of Mobile's busiest intersections. A man out on bond is accused of leading officers on that pursuit that ended near one of the city's busiest intersections, Airport Boulevard and Berwyn Drive, which is just past McGregor. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is here in the studio. Haley, the suspect, of course, now facing new charges and prosecutors want him to stay locked up until he goes to trial. Yeah, that's right. This is a time time metric James. As you can see from his mugshot, he did not escape the crash unharmed. He has a large bandage on his face and five new charges on his arrest history, including reckless endangerment, leaving the scene of an accident with injury and attempting to elude. This video captured by a witness shows a car chase where the vehicle crashed into two cars and flipped, then immediately ran away. Mobile police say that this all started from an attempt to initiate a traffic I don't know what stop. The f he did. I'm gonna stay up out of that. And then right after that, the cop cars started pulling up. They saw him and took off behind Hooters right here. And then they came out with him in handcuffs. Ty Matrick James is now in Mobile County Metro Jail, booked on charges including reckless endangerment, leaving the scene of an accident with injury, and attempting to elude. According to Mobile District Attorney Keith Blackwood, this isn't the first time James has been behind bars. Yeah, Mr. James certainly has a history. Jail records show that this is at least the fourth time since 2021 that James is accused of running from the police, including another arrest that was only two months ago. James also has a pending case that is awaiting a grand jury over possession of marijuana. Blackwood said that based on these recent bookings, they're working to keep him in Metro Jail. We will be filing a motion to revoke bond on that case based on uh, his alleged conduct from last night. If granted, James will stay in Metro Jail until trial. Mobile police told me that the innocent driver struck in the pursuit suffered minor injuries. In the studio, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.